Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Maybe that's a little bit too loud. I should soften. I actually am a teacher, so I, I don't need this at all. <laughs> um, so welcome to the 2023 First in Course celebration. We're at the Parramatta campus of Western Sydney University today, the lands of the Barramatigal people of the Darug Nation, and I would like to pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging. To begin today's proceedings, please welcome Uncle Graham Davis King to deliver our welcome to country. Uncle Graham will be followed with a special performance by Eric Avery and Murrow Adow. Thank you, Uncle Graham. Maikaka Yamakara, Ngali Manga, Yindu Yamakara, Yorumbang, Durban Local Aboriginal Land Council Incorporated Area, or welcome everyone in the area of the Durban Local Aboriginal Land Council Incorporated Area. Um, Durban Local Aboriginal Land Council, this is part of our incorporated area, which goes to Duck Creek, and um, this is the very eastern edge of it. But it covers um, a fair bit of Parramatta Shire, Parramatta City Council area, as well as the Hills Shire Council area, Hawkesbury, the Blue Mountains, Penrith, Blacktown, uh, Cumberland Shire Council area, and also a, fair, a, little, a little tiny bit of Fairfield also. But it's quite a significant Aboriginal community of close to 40,000 Aboriginal people. And um, what I'd like to um, talk about is um, in the Parramatta, in Durban Local Aboriginal Land Council area. Durban means the Hawkesbury River specifically, but it can be also the Parramatta River. But also, um, when you look at it on a deep level, and which is what we're just looking at today, is um, it's this level of going from little ones in the nest, babies, to um, teenagers, young people, to adults, to um, elders, and Durban touches on going even beyond that, beyond eldership to a uh, level with the creators. And, um, and that's what Durban touches on, and it touches on relationships and all that. And I think that's what, uh, I know that's what my journey's been, and um, I think that's what the journey for all of us, especially our young people here, that's achieved. And, um, and that. so that's what I would like to say from Durban Local Aboriginal Land Council is to really congratulate you and recognise you for that and what you've done. And, and, and it's family and community that's achieved this also. Um, on our area too, we um, have a very important Aboriginal land claim and that was at Sackville Aboriginal Reserve. And on there, which is about, our value is family um, education family, community, education, and of course our people are family, community, society, nation. And on there, there's a, a pagoda there with a fig tree growing on top, and but in the old days, there was a long, long time ago, there's a little tree growing there, and the big flood was coming, going to wash the tree, but the rock said, look, the big family, the rock said, look, I'll hold on to you, and we survived the flood, and they did. Then. After a, long, after a long time, that tree grew and the rock was going to get washed away. So that tree said, look, I'm really big now, I'm going to hold on to you and we'll survive these floods together. So that's how we got that land claim at the old Sackville Aboriginal Reserve. Um, on there is a, was a sung a song um, by an important Aboriginal elder, song man, a healer. Um, he's a doctor in, our, in Aboriginal culture. Um, George Lowndes, he sung a song there on that place. And what the song says, it says, Wooba Wooba Minya Mundi, or Wallaby Wallaby What Many. Um, there's lots of wallaby, kangaroo, there's abundance. Um, and the abundance is our community and society and nation. That's the abundance we're talking about. Then, Angawi Kuli Birong. Angawi means, Angawi touches on. Ung means the soul, but it also means the power in ourselves, agency and sovereignty. 
and Kuli is the law, and Birong is Venus, which touches on the Seven Sisters story, which I'm not going to, very briefly, is the Seven Sisters came across the earth, and the seven brothers followed, and, because, and Venus, Birong, um, is there too. And eventually what happened to happen was when the song was sung correctly, and it was a song of respect, the Seven Sisters sung back to the Seven Brothers, and that song's still going, and um, that's our creation story, um, very, very briefly. And um, so then the song, Angawi Kuli Birum Kuli is the law, it's what we operate through, Birum relationship. Uh, mati Mati Wiri, or Nes Nes Kulamon, the little children are. Wankor Wankor, or young people, young people, or those little baby striped emus. So what I'm talking about is the stages of the emu, which is very high law. And um, then the song finishes off with Kuli Birong Mariong. So the adult emu has the law and understands relationships. And then Atu Mati. And this is the level that we're, uh, we're achieving, where the eldership, the decision makers. This is where we are. This is where we decide. This is the decision making theatre. And um, this is where we're going. And Atu Mati, yeah, we, this is the decision makers, the eldership. And Durban is going way beyond that. And that's where our society needs to be. I'll sing that very briefly. But what I'd like to say is, once again, May Kauki Yamakara. Nyali Manga Yindu Yamakara Nurumbang, and welcome to the Incorporated Area of Durban Local Aboriginal Land Council. We'd like to acknowledge the, the Baromatical peoples who are the original peoples here, and there's many Aboriginal peoples that come from these areas in our incorporated area. And I'll sing this song really briefly to finish off as an acknowledgement to the traditional owners and custodians, all Aboriginal people who reside in Western Sydney, 40,000 odd. And, um, and this is a song that we've, that comes from this community and from underneath this ground. Wuba wuba minya mandi, angui kuli birung, mati mati weary, wanko wanko kuli birung mariung ato mati. Wuba wuba minya mandi, angui kuli birung. Mati mati weary, wanko wanko kuli birung marung atu mati yuai. Thank you. That was my dad, Graham King, and this is Marawa playing the ditch today, and we're going to perform for you. Thank you.
Thank you, Uncle Graham, Eric, and Marawa. That was a very special and amazing welcome. We um, were also fortunate to have some very special guests with us today, including the Deputy Premier and Minister for Education, Prue Carr, and the Member for Parramatta, Donna Davis. I'm also pleased to welcome our heads of sector or their representatives, including Marjorie Evans from the Association of Independent Schools, Danielle Cronin from Catholic Schools New South Wales, and Martin Graham from the New South Wales Department of Education. And also welcome other distinguished guests. Thank you all for joining us today. This, is, this bit isn't in my remarks written down. I, um, every year, one of my favourite jobs is calling uh, HSC First In Course recipients. I, we get a list and we get to choose a few people who we can call and tell them that they came first in a course. And the reactions are always very funny. Some people scream and yell and you can hear footsteps as they drop the phone and run through the house. Uh, with others, it's almost as if they're deadpan and they say, yes, OK, thank you very much, goodbye. <laughs> My favourite this year was a, a young person who heard the news and then said to me, what was your name again? <laughs> and I told them, and they said, can you spell your surname? And I could tell they were Googling me. <laughs> the problem is there are a lot of Paul Martins on the internet. Okay. Um, bef oh, we might as well move into the, the main part, the bit that you're all waiting for. Our master of ceremonies for today's event is well known to most of you. Among his many achievements, he hosts the Briefing Podcast. He was a presenter on Triple J's Hack program and could probably best be described as Australia's leading voice in current affairs for young people. Please welcome Tom Tilley. Thanks, Tom. Thank you so much, Paul, and thank you to uh, Marawa and Eric for that incredible performance. That was just absolutely beautiful. I've never heard the violin and didgeridoo and the voice uh, played together in that way. It was just so special. Um, it is a real privilege to be here today, so thank you so much for having me. Um, thank you to you watching at home. We are streaming this live, and we also have our Auslan interpreters with us today. Thank you so much for making this event accessible for all. Um, this is just such a special day to recognise the 128 students who have come first in their course. It is such an amazing achievement. I mean, no one in this room is here by accident. No one slips on a banana peel and lands first in course. It comes with a lot of hard work. And one thing I just wanted to touch on before we read out your names is that we're here to celebrate the result, the number one. And that is just so amazing. You should hang on to this for the rest of your life. But I also want to talk about what got you to number one, because we're here to celebrate that as well, because that will be long lasting. I remember the summer that you're in now for me. I was a 17-year-old, skinny, freckle-faced kid from Mudgee, stepping out of my last exam, which was in the football clubhouse, got in my little white Subaru Brumby ute and drove home and I had no idea what to do next. Absolutely no idea what to do with the next minute, what to do with the next hour, 
let alone the rest of my life. And I feel so fortunate. I had no idea I would end up a journalist getting to host a national radio show on Triple J or getting to interview prime ministers or well-known celebrities like David Attenborough. It all completely blew my mind. I actually applied for a job in the local coal mine and um, got rejected. They said, I think you'd be better off going to uni, mate. And um, I guess it turns out they were right. But it is such a surreal time. You've been so focused on this insurmountable summit of the HSC and all the pressure that goes with that. And then all of a sudden you arrive and you're like, where do we go from here? And the message I have is about what got you to be here today? Because there'll be so much pressure that comes and goes. Um, you might not always come first in everything you do. Um, but the important thing to think about is what was it that got you to number one? I mean, firstly, was it about the subject you chose? Was it something that you were really passionate about? Or did you lean into something that challenged you? Um, I know a lot of you have um, your teachers and your parents here today. Was it about that support network? Was that a really important part of it? Did you just simply put in the hours? Or did you have that strong voice in your head that told you that saying no to fun would be worth it, that it would be worth the sacrifice? Was it an ability to condense lots of information or to tackle new challenges? So these are the things that you're going to take on past this number one today into the rest of your life. And the good news is those skills and attributes, they only grow, they only get stronger. So my little message, my little um, moment of attempted inspiration is to think about those things today. We're here to celebrate that and the number one, because it's those attributes that got you here that are going to stay with you forever. And next time you're up against a huge challenge or a lot of stress, just remember that those things stay with you and they'll always be there. So that's my little message for you today. Um, a big thank you to our honourable guests, in particular the Deputy Prime Minister, Prue Carr, sitting here. Um, we're about to get into it. Uh, it's a special moment. They're ramping up the festivities after the ceremony today as well. There's actually going to be DJs, I've been told. So look out, it could get pretty wild. Um, all right, should we get started? All right, we'll get Prue Carr up onto the stage, please, Deputy Premier. She'll be here to shake your hand and congratulate you. She's going to give us a few words to start with. Thank you so much, Tom. Um, hello to everyone. What an amazing, special day it is today. Uh, I will also want to say to Uncle Graham and that those performers, my God, I've never seen anything like that in my life. That was just incredible. I think we just, you could have heard a pin drop in here. Uh, I also want to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land that we're on and pay my respects to elders, past, present and emerging as well in a room full of young people, so important to acknowledge. Before I continue, I want to say a big apology on behalf of the Premier, my boss, Chris Minns, who is sorry he can't be here today, but he's going to be watching online. I'll make sure that he does. Uh, welcome to all of you. This is about you this morning. Uh, the students, your families, and your amazing teachers for joining us uh, here today. Today's a pretty amazing and special day to be the Minister for Education in New South Wales. I am always telling my colleagues that I'm sure I have got the best job in government uh, because I get to celebrate all of you and all of our wonderful students across New South Wales. We have so many talented and brilliant kids in our schools. These awards are, of course, the pinnacle. It's an opportunity for us to celebrate and acknowledge you as being outstanding, seriously outstanding coming first in an HSC course. What an achievement. This year, our first in course celebration includes 128 students who have achieved first or equal first, as some of you have, in an HSC course. Six students who topped two or more courses. Students from 89 schools across New South Wales, 
from Orange, Lismore and right across Sydney. You're all here today from all sectors, from our government schools, independent and Catholic schools. As, as Deputy Premier, I'm sure you can appreciate there's so much activity taking place each and every day, but I've got to tell you, the best part of the last week was getting to do what Paul was talking about as well, calling some of you to share some of the news with you that you had topped an HSC course. Akshara Reddy Yadam from St George Girls High School, who achieved first in ancient history. She was my first call. Angie Wang from Pimple Ladies College. She was a little bit surprised to have a call from me, but was pretty thrilled and it was catching. I thought I was going to actually burst into tears when I delivered the news that she, was, she had come first in maths extension too. Then I called Maya Stanley from the Rivers Secondary College Kadena High Campus in Lismore, very far from Parramatta, who came first in two courses, business services and equal first in mathematics standard two. That is an amazing effort. She hopes to study law and arts at university. Christian Cironi, you're going to check your voicemail, mate, because I left two messages. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, it's just a small piece of news for you, Christian, that you had topped the state in maths advance. Don't you love Gen Z? Seriously. <laughs> and a special call out to Patrick Ascander, who lives in my electorate of Londonderry and achieved equal first in math standard two. I know that all of you had made, have made your school, your family, your friends, and all of us so proud of you today. Make sure, please, you take time to thank everyone who has supported you for their support. However, I'm pretty sure that the proudest today will be your teachers. Uh, I'm sure you will all say it yourselves. So I'm gonna take a little bit of an opportunity to pay tribute to them as minister for them. They are the people that everything depends on in all of our systems. Every single outcome we celebrate today, every brighter future, everything that you've achieved from when you first walked in those primary school gates as a tiny little kindergarten student, everything depends on our teachers. They are the ones that have inspired you to reach this incredible goal today. They have guided your gifts and they've seen the gifts that you've been given and guided you to achieve. It's such a vital role because while so many of you today have that talent that is intuitive and that spark that for some of you has come naturally, it does need to be fostered and that's the work that teachers do every day to ensure that you can reach your full potential for other students, I know your talent has emerged from the skills and knowledge that's been instilled in you. There's a lot of dedication that's gone into today. Motivation, inspiration, and it's the teachers we look to to provide that leadership to help you flourish. First in course shows us what can be achieved when student talent and effort go together, when they're put to work in a high quality education system with great teaching at its heart. To the whole class of 2023, well done. You've done it, you're there, you've completed your HSC. Receiving your full results tomorrow is just the start of the next exciting chapter in your lives. My advice to you is this, use this opportunity to follow your passion. Put your skills to test in the service of something greater than yourself, something you truly believe in, and somewhere where you can make a difference. For our first in course kids, our students, this is a moment to see the proof, to celebrate in that proof, that dedication to your studies and commitment to doing your absolute best actually did pay off. Congratulations again, I'm so proud of you. I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Deputy Premier Perukar, and a great message there. Today is living proof that hard work pays off. Okay, let's get into it. We've got 128 students from 136 uh, certificates uh, in first or first place. Uh, let's do it. Starting with Aboriginal Studies, Marguerite Ryan from Cheltenham Girls High School.
Emily Fries from James Roos Agricultural High School. Akshara Reddy Yadam, St. George Girls High School. <laughs> Lena Ben Butter, Al Faisal College. <laughs> Joshua Tamar, St. Charbel's College. <laughs> In Armenian continuous. Rosie Marty Rossian from Galston College. In automotive examination, Flynn Adrian McCowan from Tape Launchpad, Broadway. In biology, equal first. Shiulu Fan, Kinross Wallaroy School. <laughs> Xavier Haynes, Scots All Saints College. <laughs> also equal first in biology, Tala Raza, Amity College. Tara Saravanun, James Roos Agricultural College. <laughs> and finally in biology, Sarah Ahmad Sindhu from Al Faisal College. <laughs> in business services examination, Maya Stanley, the Rivers Secondary College, Kadena High Campus. In business studies, equal first, Imogen Brown, Castle Hill High School. <laughs> and Grace Losco, Newtown High School of Performing Arts. <laughs> In chemistry, Jason Fan, James Roos Agricultural High School. And in Chinese and literature, Yi Lu Li, Meridian School, Strathfield. <laughs> Chinese beginners, Rowan Patel, New South Wales School of Languages. In Chinese continuous, Chris Yu, The King School. And in Chinese extension, Maeda Papaitis, Skeggs Darlinghurst. In Chinese in context, Mei Yu, Ravenswood School for Girls. And in classical Greek continuous and classical Greek extension, Jeremy Wong, Sydney Grammar. And in Classical Hebrew Continuous and Classical Hebrew Extension, Heilel Eisenberg, Kessa Torah College. In Community and Family Studies, Lachlan McNamara, St. Mary's Catholic College. In Construction Examination, Charlie Mooney, Cronulla High. In Croatian, continuous, Paula Karoglan, Secondary Campus of Languages, Liverpool Boys Campus. In dance, Annalise Mustapich, Kirawi High School.
in design and technology, Arella Plater, Skeg Starlinghurst. In drama, Kiana Levy, Taramara High School. <laughs> In Dutch continuers, Ava Scooter, outside tutor. Earth and environmental science, Yara Nafaji, Al Nuri Muslim School. In economics, Hugh Mackenzie Latimer, Knox Grammar School. In electrotechnology examination, Daniel Bredel, Sydney Institute Sutherland College, Gymea. Engineering studies, Christian Prince, Merriweather High School. English Advanced, Kang Nguyen Ho, North Sydney Boys High School. In English EALD, C. Ying Kwok, Presbyterian Ladies College, Sydney. In English Extension 1, Jacob John Stanley Johnston, Knox Grammar School. English Extension 2, Orlando Douglas Gulaz, Taramara High School. English Standard, Nicholas Bradshaw, Barker College. Entertainment Industry Examination, Elizabeth Alcorn, Ride Secondary College. <laughs> Filipino Continuers, Nicole Joanna Taipang, Secondary College of Languages, Bankstown Girls Campus. <laughs> Financial Services Examination, Taylor Earle, One School Global, New South Wales, Maitland. In food technology, equal first goes to Jack Bell, Chatswood High School. And Quinn Hoffman from St. Luke's Grammar School, DY. In French beginners, Liam Lightfoot, Gosford High School. In French continuers, Diane Luong, Kalani Heights High School. In French extension, Emma Silvestri, Redham House. In geography, Haley Sinez, Brigidine College, St. Ives. In German beginners, Matilda Johnson, New South Wales School of Languages. In German continuers, Lily Rath, New South Wales School of Languages. In German extension, Anand Harsha Jayanti, The King's School. In Hindi continuers, Lisa Gupta, Secondary College of Languages, The Hills Sports Campus. In 
History Extension, Elise Stevens Loretto Normanhurst. In Hospitality Examination, Lever Samuel, Tara Anglican School for Girls. In Human Services Examination, Emma Yazbets, Sydney Secondary College, Blackwater Bay Campus. In Hungarian Continuous, Tamas Hercheg, Outside Tudor. In Indonesian and Literature, Jacob Jayashina McCormack, New South Wales School of Languages. In Indonesian Beginners, Melati Inda Siswoyo, New South Wales School of Languages. In Indonesian Continuous, Mahesh Manyam, Ride Secondary College. In Indonesian Extension, Justine Fowler, MacArthur Anglican School. Industrial Technology, Isaac Bust, Model Farms High School. Information and Digital Technology Examination, Adam Shun, All Saints College, Liverpool. Information Processes and Technology, Equal First, Tanisha Shavnini, Cheltenham Girls High School. And Timothy Zhao, William Clark College. <laughs> Investigating Science, Zach Thompson, Smith's Hill High School. In Italian Beginners, Max Martin, St. Augustine's College, Sydney. In Italian's Continuous, Dia Badoi, Serdan College. <laughs> Italian Extension, Ethan Jahani, Sydney Grammar School. In Japanese Beginners, Zihei Tang, Cherry Brook Technology High School. In Japanese Continuous, Christina Yang, Borkham Hills High School. In Japanese Extension, Binya Tang, Epping Boys High School. In Japanese in Context, Sarah Burke, New South Wales School of Languages. In Khmer Continuous, Nung Munich Enget, Secondary College of Languages, Liverpool Girls Campus. In Korean and Literature, Yubin Huang, Secondary College of Languages, Strathfield. And in Korean Beginners, Sami Lo, New South Wales School of Languages. In Korean Continuous, Junyu Yu, New South Wales School of Languages. Korean in Context, Min Chai Kim, Secondary College of Languages, Chatswood.
in Latin Continuous and Latin Extension, Jeremy Wong, Sydney Grammar School. And back for another one in Legal Studies, Jacob John Stanley Johnston, Knox Grammar School. In Macedonian Continuous, Equal First, Sylvia Velyanchevsky, Secondary College of Languages, Cogra. Also in Macedonian Continuous, Equal First, Ivona Ratevsky, Secondary College of Languages, Bankstown. In Mathematics Advanced, Christian Cironi, Trinity Grammar School. In Mathematics Extension 1, Anubu Umunji, Remedia Baptist School. In Mathematics Extension 2, Angie Wang, Pimble Ladies College. In Mathematics Standard 1 Examination, Seth Webster, Macaulay Catholic College. In Mathematics Standard 2, Equal First, Sana Kasim Al Sukini, Al Faisal College. And Rubina Balesti, Stella Maris College. Taylor Byman, Broaden Anglican College. Jackson Bond, Emmanuel Anglican College. Also equal first in Mathematics Standard 2. Haley Sinias, Bridgetine College, St Ives. Sari Etkind, Rose Bay Secondary College. and Ella Futrell, St. John's Grammar School. <laughs> Odin Hayes, <laughs> Luma High School. <laughs> and Patrick Iskander, St. Andrews College. Also equal first in Mathematics Standard 2, Jed Kirkman, St. Columba Anglican School. And Zachary Bunny Nandalol, St. Ignatius College. Olivia Natoli, Woolaware High School. And Maya Stanley, the River Secondary College, Kadena High Campus. And Christian Weingarth, Emmanuel Anglican College. In Modern Greek Beginners, Iana Faturos, New South Wales School of Languages. In Modern Greek Continuous, Elpitha Getsiu, New South Wales School of Languages.
in modern Greek extension, Ariane Mercedes, Secondary College of Languages, Ashfield. In modern Hebrew continuers, Lila Elkayam, Bishop Druitt College. In modern history, Finn Ma, St. Joseph's College. In music one, Hugh Brinley, Belmont Christian College. In music two, equal first, Milo Abrahams, Sydney Grammar School. And Rebecca Colwell, Skeggs Garling, Darlinghurst. In music extension, oh sorry, we've just read that one. Oh no. Music extension, Milo Abrahams, Sydney Grammar School. In Persian continuers, Daya Raisian Zadi, Secondary College of Languages, Arthur Phillip Campus. In personal development, health and physical education, Gemma Stevenson, Northern Beaches Secondary College. In physics, James Lambert, Sydney Grammar School. In Polish continuers, Nikodem Siolek, Secondary College of Languages, Ashfield. In Portuguese continuers, Ana Julia Farias Borba Paiva, Secondary College of Languages. In primary industry examination, Ella Ward, Cal Rossi Anglican School. In Punjabi continuers, Prabjot Kaur, Secondary College of Languages, The Hills Campus. In Retail Services Examination, Sharla Ticehurst, St Mary's Catholic College. In Russian continuers, Alexandra Petrova, Secondary College of Languages. In Science Extension, Jessica Louise Molke, Queenswood. In Serbian Continuers, David Stanisalovic, St. Euphemia College, Bankstown. In Society and Culture, Amberly Kate Moffat, Merriweather High School. In Software Design and Development, Stanley Wu, James Roos Agricultural High School. In Spanish Beginners, Chiara Freeman, Meriden School. In Spanish Continuous, William Gerard Sandrell, St Ives High School. In Spanish Extension, Kiani Yusach Ginsburg, New South Wales School of Languages. In Studies of Religion 1, Gabriella Michalopoulos, Mara Sisters College, Woolwich. In 
in Studies of Religion 2, Yasmin Yunchek, Brigidine College, Ramwick. In Swedish Continuous, Ella Batman, Outside Tudor. In Tamil Continuous, Hersha Kumlesh Warren, Outside Tudor. In Textiles and Design, Michelle Hayes, Kinross Wallaroy School. In Tourism, Travel and Events Examination, Jacqueline Luria, Good Samaritan Catholic College. In Turkish Continuous, Karime Yazije, Amity College, Prestons. In Vietnamese Continuous, Nguyen Pham, Secondary College of Languages. And finally, last but not least, in Visual Arts, Lyric Generet, John Terry Catholic College. All right, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. What an incredible lineup of students. A big thank you and a big round of applause to all of our winners and our Deputy Premier, Pruka. Thank you very much. All right, it is almost time to relax and get the party started. But just before we finish, a final word goes to the CEO of Nessa, Paul Martin. Thanks, Paul. Thank you very much, uh, Tom, and thank you for great stories and expertise guiding us through uh, today's celebration. 128 different students, 128 names. We're all looking at the students. We're all looking at the parents. You see a, a photo come up, so you can guess that that's the parent of that. You see the odd tear, a woo-hoo here and there. It's, uh, it's a really fun and uh, a special day. Um, I'm a bit of a sook, so I do notice when I see um, all, the, all the kids come through, all the young people, they're not kids anymore. Um, many of you are the first person in your uh, family to achieve an HSC, perhaps. Uh, some of you or many of you are uh, children of immigrants who sacrificed everything to come here and uh, you've borne out that decision that they made. Uh, many of you are the first person in your school or your town who've ever achieved uh, such an honour. So congratulations, what a, what a great set of stories. And the other thing I'd like to say is congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to all the parents. I've done it twice. Um, I think next year we should have a special award without the students and then we can just compare war stories and bruises over the course of the year, um, but well done. Um, also, thank you, of course, to the Deputy Premier for being with us today. It's special to have you here on such a momentous day. It's a great day for all of us. Um, and also thank you to the Premier for his message of congratulations to those awarded today. Um, the Premier's photo with 128 students will now be in 128 homes. It'll be sent to grandparents, to cousins, to aunties, to uncles. It'll go to India and China and right across the world um, because that's what happens. There have been phone calls to everybody in the last few days. The people I feel sorry for are anyone who has little brothers or sisters because they have to hear about you for the whole week. And worse than that, they have to do the HSC and attempt to live up to what you've done. But good luck. Um, completing the high school certificate is no walk in the park for any student. It requires your commitment and dedication to see it through. It's not just about being clever, it's about hard work. 
Uh, all of you who have completed the HSC in New South Wales need to congratulate, congratulate yourself on just making it to the finish line. You have a valuable credential which will open many doors for you. Pretty much any university in the world will accept the HSC and the results that New South Wales students receive. Uh, come to come first in a course is outstanding um, and you should be very proud. I want to say, as I said earlier, a big thank you to all the students, loved ones, schools and communities, all those fantastic teachers that helped you every step of the way. You know who they are. You need to make sure that you contact them and say thank you. The support of family and friends and the skill and guidance of great teachers are all part of what has brought us these out student, outstanding students here today. All the best with the full results tomorrow to be released alongside your 69,000 HSC classmates. I have to say, I get very nervous on HSC morning as well, but I get to do it every year and you only have to do it once. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you uh, and thank you once more to um, all of our special guests and to the Deputy Premier. And if I could please ask the students to stay where you are, all of our other guests can make their way out to join us for some morning tea in the foyer. And the students will join you very soon because I think there's some photos to be taken. Congratulations and thank you, everybody.